Welcome back, Phosphodot fans. We are back with some more Intellivision action, and this one is a very old favorite of mine. It's This is really one of the signature games on this system, and it's a little number we call Shark Shark. And as game concepts go, it's so simple and so brilliant at the same time. It's basically little fish tries to become big fish by eating smaller fish. It's a metaphor for life. So, there you are. Here are the little yellow fish. Now, anything that's bigger than you can eat you. It's really that simple. But the king of the food chain here is the shark. Although I just got snagged by a crab there, so so much for me, you know, eludicating on who is the king of the food chain. Now you're not completely defenseless here. But you only get bigger by eating smaller fish and avoiding being eaten. Which I just failed to do. Hmm. Your only defense against the shark is to sneak up and bite it from behind. <laughs> that was close. You do that enough times, you have a dead shark on your hands. Now, even doing that does not really, it doesn't really do anything for, you know, where you are in the food chain. It just means that you've temporarily got the shark off your, <laughs> off your backside. And as you can see, if you try too hard, to, you make it too obvious that you're following the shark, he will turn around and try to eat you. Mm. Got me. Got me again. Oh. Poor little fishy. There's a certain simple beauty to this game that I just, I have to admire. I mean, as a game design, it's one of those things where you just kind of wonder, why didn't someone come up with this before 1982? And it's just... You know, it's just a simple matter. No one had thought of it. And graphically, audio-visually, really, this game was, you know, right in the middle of the Intellivision's wheelhouse. Dead fishy. Hmm. More dead fishy. Yeah, another way to attract the, uh, Desired attention of your local shark is to uh, be snagging too many things lower on the food chain than the shark. If you start 
stealing food from the shark. Mm. Would have gotten away with it too, if not for you meddling fish. <laughs> this is really one of those it's really one of those games that is the epitome of kind of the the Nolan Bushnell principle easy to learn hard to master you can get you can get a slight increase in size from repeatedly attacking the shark. But at no point does it make you mightier than the shark. Eek. I'm gonna get you little fishy. Get you a little fishy. Things such as crabs and lobsters pretty much stay further up the food chain than you, if I recall correctly. I might be wrong. Hmm. One thing I, I don't know if you've noticed about me as a gamer, or some people would not call me that because I'm, you know, I'm so fond of casual gaming. You know, in, in some people's eyes, well, oh, I'm not a gamer at all. Oh, I think that shark is pissed. <laughs> I think the shark is pissed. Okay. Hi, be my friend. Oh, be my dinner. No matter how many times I get beaten by the AI in a game, it's not the game's fault. It's just that the game was better than me on that occasion. Oh, sneaky, sneaky shark. This game has appeared in numerous forms over the years. The in television flashback. There was the original At Games uh, plug-and-play controller that had several in television games built in that played a pretty good game of Shark Shark. I remember my oldest and I uh, played Shark Shark quite a bit with that plug and play. And so it's, you don't necessarily have to have the whole in television setup, you know, with the actual console to be able to play this game. Like I said, it's really one of the one of the signature in television games. I mean, for me, this is more this is more of a definitive in television game than Star Strike, as far as I'm concerned. didn't feel like picking that fight with the shark. <laughs> so, and there have been homebrew versions of this on other consoles, most notably, yeah, 
there's a there's a great version on the Atari 2600, which Atari Age sells. It's not called Shark Shark, obviously, because you know there are legal considerations. But there's a uh, great version on the 2600 that has a simultaneous two-player mode, and it's one of those games that's two-player in the way that Joust is two-player. You guys can team up on the shark, but eventually somebody is eating somebody else. So there you have it, Shark Shark on the Intellivision. A better fish than the Funky Fish, I might add. Much better than Funky Fish. Nothing funky about these fish. Just feisty. <laughs> 